Well, Morale Day, honestly, is, um, it's a much somber, more somber day here in Georgia than it has been in the, the two years I've held this position. Um, I've lost friends, of course, uh, during my military service, but um, our three, three Georgians we lost this past year with the drone strike in Georgia. Um, I mean, the two young ladies, they're the same age as my daughter, and, and I couldn't help but just cry for the, the life, the lives that we lost. Um, they had so much potential. They were, they were truly giving back to their country in a location where I know they and their families thought that they were safe. Uh, but serving in the military is, is never safe, right? You never know what is going to happen. I mean, we've got plenty of, of organizations, countries out there that, that want to see the demise of our American military. And uh, this Memorial Day, it's just, it's just sad. That just really hit home for me more so than it had since I have been in uniform. And I know we as a state uh, cried alongside those families. I mean, one of those families was uh, the father had served seeking services from one of our offices. And so we had direct ties with one of our service officers who had coached uh, with the sergeant. Um, it's, it's something no parent ever wants to hear. Yep. And it's something that we as a state and we as a nation never want to see. And I hope we never forget that the true cost of freedom are individual lives. I mean, our neighbors, our friends, our children, our parents. Uh, that's something I think we should not lose this Memorial Day. Well, initially the first Memorial Day was held in 1868. Uh, right after the Civil War to honor all of the soldiers and their sacrifices that they had made during that time. But when you fast forward from myself, coming from a military family, I was the first woman to join the military in my family, come from a proud heritage. My grandfather served in the Army in World War II as a truck mechanic. Several of my uncles also served as well during that same time in the different branches. Memorial Day means everything to me. As I think about their service and their sacrifices, but I also think about the soldiers, friends, other people in the community that I know that also serve with me in various capacities that are no longer with us. And so it's about honoring their legacy, honoring their memory, honoring their service. Uh, Memorial Day is the day that we get to say, not just thank you, to our service members, but we miss you. We appreciate you. We wish you were still here. But while you're gone, we're gonna continue to do the work until we see you again. And that's what Memorial Day means, means to me. So at some point in time, all the veterans, uh, we had one of those uh, watershed moments in our lives. Right? Someone required us to put up our right hand and make this oath, this pledge, to sign this blank check. And on that blank check was up unto your life. And in that moment, we all recognized that when what we're doing, there's that very real possibility that it could be me. Um, and having served, you have that experience of surviving that. Um, it resonates in you that uh, you are here, with, but someone is not. Uh, and it just kind of uh, brings about a deep appreciation for those people that have paid the ultimate sacrifice. You want to honor them. You want to honor um, what they do, continue the mission that they were not able to continue themselves. And that is uh, look out for each other. Um, it's a brotherhood of sorts. 
it's a, a fraternity, a comradeship that you, it is hard to replicate in the civilian world. So for me, Memorial Day is a day of resolve. It's a day of recommitment and recognizing that yeah, there are faces that I no longer see in the physical, but they're in my heart. And I, uh, I do what I do in part because of them, in part because of their sacrifice. I want to honor it. Be the voice for the voiceless. It's a renewed spirit every day for me because my focus is how, what can I do better today that I didn't do yesterday in order to help my veterans out. I feel like Memorial Day, especially being like a, a combat veteran, you see a lot of death and, and destruction that comes from war. Um, and some of my comrades are not here. And so to give that ultimate sacrifice, I mean, I don't think there are any words that really can express the gratitude, you know? Memorial Day is just amazing because it could have been me, you know, that have not um, made it this far, but at least I know with Memorial Day when I do visit, you know, it really brings tears to my eyes, but then it makes me stronger, you know, just to know that you have these veterans who have fought for our country. And it's just breathtaking to just know, not it, it, you know, they deserve yeah. it all. Actually gives me two thoughts. And, and the first, is recognizing and remembering the ones that served and, and sacrificed their lives for, for the freedom that we have today. Um, you, you can't move past that. that. That is the core of Memorial Day. Um, and from that as a veteran, as a veteran myself, yes, it, it motivates me to, you know, a new refined purpose, okay? As I go out, I'm going to do better than what I did. What am I missing that a veteran uh, is not having? It just re-energizes me to get to a different level of service. That that day of remembrance is is like a, a birthday, so to speak. It's, it's a birthday, an anniversary, and it's the last day where you have to look back and see what you have done and where you're gonna go next. Yeah. thoughts of fellow veterans that didn't come back, people that I joined with that are no longer with us. Uh, time to reflect on them and the sacrifice they made for the nation. So, um, yeah, for me and my family, that, that's what we do. We, uh, I had family members that, you know, we lost in, in wartime. So reflecting on those family members that went before us, that set a tradition in our family to serve in the nation. For me, um, it's a day of reflection and deep gratitude. I mean, in my own service, I've experienced loss while serving active duty. So Memorial Day is a day of remembrance um, for those who gave that ultimate sacrifice. Um, and again, that's why I do what I do. It's to um, remember their legacy and the sacrifice they made to for those freedoms. So, for me, Memorial Day is really every day, but on that day is the day that I focus specifically on remembering those that made that sacrifice. To me, it represents that I was blessed. It represents the fact that I have an opportunity. You know, God has given me that opportunity to come back and to help others. And that's powerful because, you know, for those that didn't make it back, they don't have that chance. They don't have that opportunity, you know. You know, they signed that check, that blank check, not knowing what the outcome was gonna be, but they was willing to serve their country. They was willing to go out and they made the ultimate sacrifice. <laughs>